Hey, welcome to a fresh new episode of the TD News Show. And here's a quote for the day, and that is, never break anybody's heart. Bring them tech news. And that was a bit sick. And let's start the show with AMD because finally they pulled the curtain over their upcoming RX 6700 XT. Priced at 479 US dollars, the RX 6700 XT features 40 RDNA 2 compute units amounting to 2560 stream processors, a maximum game clock frequency of 2424 MHz with 12GB of GDDR6 RAM across 192-bit wide memory interface and the chip packs 96 megabytes of infinity cache. The card is targeted towards high FPS 1440p gamers and the specs are looking really good and AMD is putting this card to compete between 3060 Ti and the 3070. But the big question is the availability because right now we are facing the worst chip shortage in history although amd is taking some step like doing a flash sale kind of thing where uh, you can buy these cards on amd.com at a certain time at a certain day but again even at that time at that day they cannot stop scalpers so let's see what happens and also aib cards will be dropping on march 18. now talking about dropping leak specs of intel's upcoming dg2 graphics family has been dropped on the internet and it consist of six gpus ranging from 16 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes gddr6 memory and 4096 to 7068 shading units now these are not the most reliable metric to judge a gpu but i'm always in for more competition there if there is more competition in the market that means the competitor will try to improve and when they improve they uh, they like we get better product at a cheaper cost so yeah more competition never hurt anybody except uh, those business uh, because they love money and hate competition welcome to the corporate world while we are in the topic of intel they recently abandoned their overclocking extended warranty program that they used to have for the overclockable cpus performance tuning protection program was their extended warranty program where if a overclocker damage a CPU while overclocking, then Intel will replace their CPU. And the CPUs that are considered or like uh, you can opt into this program if you have K-series CPUs. That means that Intel is selling you overclockable warranty for their overclockable chips. And to opt in in this program, you have to pay from $19 to 29 us dollars but hey you cannot uh, do that anymore talking things you can't do you can't buy an iphone 13 right now which is uh, surprisingly obvious because uh, it hasn't been launched yet <gasps> what happened to my segway skills today segway god please bless me please please but what i can do is to talk about some of the rumors or information shared by ming chi ko according to the analyst the mini variant will stick for another year but uh, after that there is no guarantee and on the pro models you will be able to get a 120 hertz high refresh rate display not only that on iphone 13's pro model there will be a ultra wide camera but this time this ultra wide camera will be much faster at an aperture of one Point eight. Now there won't be major differences in the design but there will be incremental upgrades with a bigger battery and a smaller notch but it will still have the same lightning connector no type c like this episode will still have the quick news yes my power came back yes so let's talk about the quick news because this is the time for the quick news so let's talk AMD released Threadripper Pro Workstation CPUs to the DIY market. Epic Game is buying Fall Guy creators Media Tonic TSMC to start 3 nanometer node production this year. Play Store won't let you buy or rent movies and TV shows after August 31st. E3 2021 reportedly cancelled in favor of an all digital event. Microsoft is testing 1080p X Cloud streams for Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming Service. Microsoft is making the Windows 10 update process a whole lot easier 
with stack updates now that was all for today's techie stuff and if you want to know more about any of these stories all the links are linked down in the description now let's talk about some of the stuff i like starting with wandavision and its director says that there are more to scarlet witch stories to say so that means that we could see a season two although i'm not getting my hopes up because kevin feige said that skull or wonder vision would be only one season and there is no plan to do a season two and i kind of on the fence of kevin feige not doing a season two because wonder vision will or the events of wonder vision totally uh, gonna directly impact a spider-man 3 and uh, Doctor Strange, um, Madness, uh, Multiverse of Madness, or mad Madness of Multiverse, whatever, the Doctor Strange 2. So, and uh, uh, Wanda, or Scarlet Witch's character, or Elizabeth Wilson's character, Wanda Vision, aka Scarlet Witch, will be a very important character, or uh, will do a very important ro role in in i cannot talk today in dr strange 2 so yeah i'm really excited for uh the next episode the episode 9 i kind of have some of my theories although i'm not gonna say anything or spoil you for spoil your season like i i'm not saying my theories okay because i'm not i don't want to spoil the ep season or episode 9 I, I really cannot talk today and I swear next on Black Adam movie will begin production from April this year now doing Johnson posting on his Instagram and how buff he is like he's already huge guy and he's getting much more humongous for Black Adam so you know it, it will be a eye candy for all those mus uh, toxic masculinity guy freaks uh, you know let's be honest 90% of the girls don't care how huge you are believe me they don't although who am i to say i'm uh, uh, like let's just not go into there but let's talk about the next news which is the last bit of news for today and that is comic con is going all digital again and uh, yeah comic con will be all digital again for the stuff that happening around the world and i don't know what to say about that like i don't know what to say anymore for this episode because this episode is ending yes this is the end of this episode this episode is ending so if you liked it hit the like button if you don't leave it a dislike but remember you will hurt me you will hurt me pretty freaking bad like it hurts when you dislike believe me it hurts pretty bad but come on it's your life do whatever you want to do and if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I appreciate if you do that, well, do it by here. And there's Akash. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wow. That's a pretty big spider in the wall. Huh. I name you Uncle Ben. Yeah. You're Uncle Ben. If you need anything, hit me up.